Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and this is my channel Eclipse Botanica. If you are new to my channel, I am documenting my journey with my first small business and I try to give tips on candle making and metaphysics whenever I can. Today, I decided I kind of wanted to make a kind of a candle math video. I see a lot of people on the Facebook group that are kind of confused about, like they know how to do their candle math when they're making like one candle but whenever it comes to making like 30 of these or 50 or a couple hundred then it gets kind of confusing or for instance say maybe they are they need to make you know a couple of these guys and then they also need to make a couple of these so they have different weights that they're trying to add all together and they're trying to figure out what they do with the with the candle formula so i just kind of wanted to walk you guys through some examples real quick. I know this is math and this is terribly boring and everybody hates it, but I'm going to try my very best to use highlighters and to make it fun, <laughs> fun, to make it um, not want to blow your brains out boring. It is math. I, I will, I'll do what I can, but it's math. <laughs> so I see this question come up all the time and, um, Erica from Memory Box Candle Co. I mentioned this in all, like almost all of my videos, but my my three year old has not fallen asleep yet. Obviously, I thought she was asleep. Anyways, um, maybe I woke her up because I'm being loud. Um, Erica from Memory Box Candle Co. She has really great candle math videos, and she goes into a lot of detail. I am not going to go into very much detail here because I'm going to go ahead and link her video below so you can watch it because she has like full videos just explaining the formula itself, and they're very thorough and, and they're great. So I'm going to link those below. Um, I'm going to just kind of quickly go over it with y'all and um, and then go into other examples, and, and we'll, we'll kind of go from there. So yeah, let's get right into it. I hope that this angle works and that y'all can see everything. I tried to write kind of big. I do not have the best handwriting. I will tell you that right now. I it's This is the best that I could do. So first, I'm going to just kind of walk you guys real quickly through the candle formula. And we're just going to do one candle math, um, just the math for one candle. And um, then secondly, I'm going to walk you guys through how to do a large amount of candles that are all the same weight and the same um, fragrance oil percentage. And I'm just going to use 25 as an example, but really all of these, I'm going to use the same fragrance oil percentage, but I'm going to show you how you can input different um, fragrance oil percentages. Obviously, I have OCD, if you can't tell. And then third, I'm going to show y'all if you are using the same formula and the same um, fragrance oil percentage, but you're using multiple different vessels, different weights and stuff like that. Um, I didn't put a number here, but I want it to look pretty. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do um, on the third part. So with the first part, <clears throat> Make my handy dandy pen. I want to show you guys this pen real quick. I've been using these since high school. These are my favorite pens in the freaking world. They're amazing. They last forever. They are so smooth. Anyways, I just, I love them. I'll probably have them in the description if y'all want to look at them because I, I refuse to use any other pen. <laughs> these are, these are just, these are my favorite. So anyways, um, the candle formula, um, like I said, um, Erica from Memory Box Candle Co. She's got a great video on how to figure this out. So I'm just going to really quickly go through this. But basically, you're going to want to figure out your desired total weight. So say, for instance, you have an 8-ounce jar and you're trying to figure out how much wax goes in there. And usually it's always it's 6 ounces. So for this example, I'm going to use um, 6 ounces. You need to figure out your desired total weight. Then you're going to divide that by 100 plus your fragrance oil percentage and that's going to equal your wax weight so to simplify this we're going to be doing six ounces divided by 100 plus the fragrance oil percentage so this is eight percent by the way if you were doing 10 percent, it would be 0.1 if you're doing nine percent 0.09 if you're doing six percent 0.06 um so to simplify it even more six divided by 1.08 and I'm going to do 
all of this on the calculator so y'all kind of just like walk through this with me is 5.56 i always round up on the second decimal point that's just me um so anyways now you're gonna do six minus 5.56 so 5.56 so six minus 5.56 equals 0.44 and that's going to be your fragrance oil weight so we have 5.56 ounces of wax 0.44 ounces of fragrance oil that's what you would do to make one candle so real quick right here i just wanted to and this might seem really complicated and if it is then just completely ignore this part but this is this, this helps me this right here this is basically the formula kind of explained um this right here because you have to do these two steps right here you have to do these two steps every single time so i put them right here um x is the desired total weight that you want divided by one point y which is the fragrance oil percentage which i already kind of explained this like eight percent is 0 0.08 10 percent is 0 0.1 equals z which is your wax weight and then for step two you take x the desired total weight minus z what we just came up with over here and that is your i put f for a fragrance oil weight so we have z is our wax weight the, my the letters are stupid i should have put a w for wax weight i don't know i just if this is too complicated totally ignore this but this is just kind of what i refer to whenever i'm i'm doing it it might be easier to just look at this and to know that you just need to plug in different numbers here and that's totally fine so um i'm gonna move these out of the way so the second part that we're doing is say you want to make a bunch of the same size candles so let's say you've got a whole bunch of eight ounce tins and you want to make i'm um, just for example 25 this will work it, it works for anything. If you want to put 50, put 50. If you want to put 5,000, put 5,000. But I'm just doing 25 times 6 ounces. So that will be 150 ounces. So now you do 150 ounces divided by 1.08. 138.89. Now we're going to do 1... 50 minus 138.89. 150 minus 11.11. So it's 138.89 ounces of wax and 11.11 .11 ounces of fragrance oil. So now number three, this is the part where I notice a lot of people getting really confused on Facebook. So this is really the reason that I'm making this video, but let's say I've just, I left all of these blank because I'm just going to come up with a completely random number. Let's say that you are using eight ounce tins and you need to make, God, um, you need to make six and you know that those uh, hold six ounces um, and then let's say that you also have another container, a larger container. This is 14.5 ounces and this holds 12 ounces of wax. So let's say that we're doing, um, four 12 ounce jars. I'll move those out of the way real quick. So let's do the math real quick. Um, six times six is 36. Four times 12 is 48. Now let's add those together. So 48 plus 36 is 84. So now we're going to do 84 divided by 1.08. 77.78 because I round up. And then we're going to do 84. My handwriting is so bad. I'm so sorry. Minus 77.78. equals 6.22 ounces exactly and that'll be what you want to make all together and that's just that's assuming that you're using the same fragrance oil percentage the same formula the same you know kind of waxes and everything that'll be how you do that you just you multiply you figure out the two sizes or whatever sizes you can do this with more than just two sizes you would just add another area right here that times however many ounces that jar is and then add all three of those together and then use that new number right here i hope that that made sense this part i know is very confusing 
and to just ignore that. I'm not really sure why I wrote it like that because it totally is confusing. But anyways, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you were able to read this. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's, that's a very quick explanation of the, um, the candle man. All right. Well, that wasn't nearly as colorful as <laughs> I, I had promised. I'm sorry. I just, I, uh, I guess I could have wrote all of the numbers down in highlighter, but I feel like that would have been kind of hard to see. So I used this bad boy, but hopefully that was of some help. I really hope that it was. Um, if not, please drop some questions below. If you have any, drop your questions below and I will do my best to try to explain it in a different way because I, I know that math is hard. It's always come easy for me and I know that I'm very, very, very lucky for that. Everybody, I, every math class I've ever been in, all I saw was kids struggling and I just felt bad because I didn't have to deal with that. With math. With any other class, really? Yes, I had to deal with that, but not with math. I hope that this video was helpful or will be helpful to some people. And I really appreciate you guys watching this video. And if you would like to support me and this channel or my business, um, you can totally subscribe below and hit the thumbs up button. And you can also follow me on either one of my Instagrams. They are tagged below and they are also on my channel's home screen if you would like to do that they're there um but yeah anyways um thank you guys for watching again and i hope y'all are having an amazing week and as always be excellent to each other and i will see you guys in the next one bye